Hey there, Slave is here. Back with some more Stonekeep. Now, we just we are just starting the Dwarven Fortress. Let's see, let's be on the door. Chalka! Halt! Who goes there? I am Drake, an adventurer. Tarzak sent us. Halt yourself, Bun. We've come to see the Elder. Farley. I'd not thought you would have returned. If you want to see the Elder, I'm not going to stop you. I'll take you to him now. I know the way, Thun Brightstone. You watch the gates. Hmm. Turn right. No, Farley. What? I said right. Turn around. It's the other way. Gonna look around. Wrong way, Drake. No dwarf blood in you. We never get lost. Hmm? What do you want? What are you doing here? Nothing. Now go away. I said, leave me! You have no business here! All right. Have it your way, then. Hmm? Watch out! sort of illusion magic. <sighs> Thanks for the warning. It saved my life. Don't mention it. Hmm. Wonder what he was trying to do here. Oh. Whoa. Power three met a rune. Greatly increases the power of a rune. Ball meta rune. Area effect. Duration meta rune. The rune effect lasts longer. Potency meta rune. We already have that one. Power two meta rune. Increases the power of a rune. Hmm. Wonder what area of effect on this would do. Okay. Alright, well that's pretty cool. Now we know what the Throg was trying to do. Have you seen Grok? He was supposed to report for duty over two hours ago. Hmm. Yeah, the music is really creepy here. Chisel. Oh, my staff's out of power. Wow, that was pretty easy. Ooh, there's a ring here. Scroll. Use the double power of rune. Increased mana use expected. Okay. We're out of that creepy music area, and I'm kind of glad because there was a weird fluttering sound in my speakers. I don't know if it'll pick it up on the recording, but it was pretty annoying. Hey, 
Hey! Also, well, this wineskin, I found out. Well. It can hold up to five doses of the fountain here. Ah, yes, this is my workspace. Where did those supplies go? <laughs> Farewell, Domber. Oh, yes, yes. If you see my brother, send him to me. I have a new device he must see. I'm right here. Oh, yes. Well, stop by later, would you please? Karzat, how's it going? Ah, it is so boring around this place. There is much talk of battle with the frogs. <sighs> but nothing will come from it. Well, Torin wants to know if you will journey with me again. Oh, for the glory of battle, yes. Come on, man. Time is wasting. Um. Kind of game breaking. Because we haven't actually talked to Torin yet. So, before I do any more adventuring, I'm going to go talk to Torin. We must take the battle to them, Torin. No, Gildor. It isn't time. I cannot explain their recent actions, but we must remain calm. The clan needs us here. But if the Throgs attack us now with all the disappearances, I don't know if we can hold the clan hall. Lost, Thera. I will have no more discussion about this. We have guests, Gildor. Stand aside. Come closer. I did not mean to interrupt. Nay, they are old words anyways. I am Torin, elder of the Chakra clan. You must be Drake. I have heard of you. And Farley. You have returned at last. Domber needed- Enough. Save it for later. Drake, what do you ask of me? The dragon, Vermatrix, has been chained. I want to free her. Can you help? Free a dragon? Are you daft? She was chained by throgs. That is not enough reason. And she might be real friendly to those that help her. Ah, and she would hate throgs. Maybe I can help, or more likely Sardin, our blacksmith, can. See him to the north. Tell him I said to help you. Return when you have the time. I wish to speak with you some more. Now, Farley, you disobeyed my direct command. You left the hall and went searching for your brother. What do you say to this? I had to leave. I had to find Domber. He would have done the same for me, sir. Only if he remembered that you were gone. But that doesn't change the fact that you broke our laws. You are Uktogoth. Leave now. But An Uktogoth cannot be heard or seen. So be it. Goodbye, Drake. I must go. Hmm. Are you Sardin the blacksmith? Torin said you could help me. Aye. What can I do for you? I promised to free a dragon. She's bound in magic chains, and the throgs broke the key into two pieces. What can I do? If you could bring me the pieces of the key, I might be able to fix it. But alas, my forge fire has died, and I cannot light it. Why not? It's a magic forge, and you can't just light those normally, you know. You need magic flint. And? We ran out of magic flint, and I haven't been able to find any. It's pretty rare, you know. Okay. I'll get you your magic flint, if you help me out. It's a deal. Take this magic chisel. You'll need it. Hmm. Magic chisel for magic flint. Now stop right there. Can't let you go any further, see? Non-employees are not permitted on the shop floor. Step back behind the line. This is Gildor's armory. He sells weapons and armor to outsiders. He hasn't been busy lately. You wanted to see me? 
Yes, I have heard of your travels. News travels quickly in the Underlands. I believe we may have similar goals. I'm not sure if I understand what you're talking about. Ah, uh, well, let me just say that I think the same about Throgs and their shamans as you do. And anything you do regarding them is acceptable to me. Ah, uh, yes, I see now. Good. Uh, please look around, my little shop. If you see anything you like, pick it up and come and talk to me about payment. Here is the price list. They are very reasonable. Hmm. Let's see. Mm. Good prices, I think. It doesn't look like anything we would need. Actually, we might be able to purchase this for one of our dwarf friends. Ten gold. Hmm. He says ten gold, but let's see if we can barter. You have slain a Throg Shaman, haven't you? Yes. A Throg Shaman? Maybe the Shaman you have killed. Captured and tortured my family. Perhaps their inner souls will rest in peace now, no longer crying for vengeance. Please help yourself to my goods. Take what you will, no charge. Well then, don't mind if I do. Can I help you? Dumber, it's me, Drake. Oh yes, it's Drake. Jake who? I saved you and your brother. Oh, never mind. What can I do for you? I'm busy, you know. Yes. Well, you mentioned some secret device. Shh! It's my secret project. A new weapon to use against, well, against somebody. I almost had it developed. I, I just can't find the missing pieces. They must have been delivered incorrectly. I would not have misplaced them. If I can find the pieces to this weapon, can I use it? Of course. What's the point of a weapon if it won't be used? But then, what good is a used weapon? Well, anyway, bring me the pieces and I will loan you the weapon. This room is for written languages only. Use on reader. Domber's to-do list. Work on secret project. Finish designs for another keep of stone. Eat, sleep, shower. Do you have one of the... Yes, this... Yes, yes! This is another piece to the stone shooter! Stone shooter. Drake, we have a problem in the hall. I hope you can help us. Have you put that undead thing to rest? Yes, it shall bother you no more. I am very grateful. You have saved many of my people's lives. The gifts in the chest are yours. I have a question. What is an Uktagoth? It literally means the forgotten. If a dwarf breaks a great law, then he is called Uktagoth and banished from our halls. The Uktagoth will never return. Ah, uh, thank you for telling me. It is hard, Drake, but we will all get over it. Hmm. This moon magic requires a previously inscripted point to complete the magic circle to home. That rune will allow us to return to the uh, other rune that we placed, the blue circle. We got a new shield. Ah, this weapon. 
think what it does. Yeah, it's an infinite throwing axe. Very useful. Okay. So, that concludes everything in this place. However... Uh... However... We're gonna use the recall spell. Ah, there we go. And I actually moved it off camera and set it right next to Vermature. Yeah! Oh, it is you. Have you found the key yet? No, not yet. Keep looking. I can wait a little longer. I set it right there. So when we do get the key, we can just teleport right back to Vermitrix. And also, because this is the magic flint. So, I can take that magic chisel... ...and break a piece off. Do you have the flint? Yes, I do. Somewhere. Thanks. Stay here. Okay. Thank you. A dwarven clan hall needs a burning forge. I will be happy to help you. I need a broken key fixed. Give me the pieces. Wait here. There you go. Completely fixed. Good luck to you. Yay. Alright, now that we got the key, let's go and, uh, yeah, let's free Vermatrix. <sighs> Why do I awaken? We have the key. Ah, uh, excellent. Please don't stand there. Unlock my chains and be sure to get all of the locks. Ah. Okay. You have unlocked this lock, but there are others. Please take care of them. Yes, of course. That is all of them. Thank you, human. I am in your debt. You're welcome. I was happy to help. I must leave now. To fly the sky again is my greatest dream. A dream that you have helped to fulfill. We dragons always carry some treasure with us, no matter where we go. That is yours to keep. I will never forget this, and my kind have long memories. You may consider yourself a dragon friend, and someday I will repay your kindness. Good flying, Vermatrix. Vermatrix has been freed. And now we have a bunch more areas to explore. Let's take a quick look around. Ooh. 
Ooh, a couple scrolls from her too. This rune is called the Rune of Winds. It was developed to dust a wizard's castle, but is used more often as a weapon. This rune is the Shrink Rune. A fairy gave this to me long ago. He thought it was great, but I haven't found it very useful at all. This rune will heal wounds in most conditions. It has been found useful as a cure for poison especially. Very useful. Hmm. Faces. If you want to fight, we'll give it to you. No, no! Nice, use misunderstand! Scuzz won out of this place! Well, I think you should find somebody else to travel with. You gotta take Scuzz with you! Scuzz, show you things! Scuzz will! Oh, alright. If it will keep you quiet. <laughs> alright, so now we have Scuzz on our team. He's a Sharga. Let's give him some better equipment. Let's give Scuzz a spear. And more stairs leading down. Ooh. Ice caverns. We'll come back to this area. You think you are so tough? You kill my people and defile our temple? Yes, I've heard of your actions. You will pay for what you have done! You are servants of Kul Kuhn. But I can find it in my heart to let you go if you promise to leave us alone. No! What you have done cannot be ignored! Well, okay then. I already have that one. Hmm. Interesting. Tell Gorda Karn that those strange glowing things are back. They stay in the area to the east of the dragon and flee whenever our guards approach. I think they're fairies. Something fairy-like might open the gate to their realm. They would make good slaves. Oh, this will take us right back to the uh, entrance to the Dwarven Fortress. Scuzzing Scuzz wait for you here! Mean Dwarf is no like Scuzz. Okay, Scuzz. Stay here and we'll be right back after we take care of a little business. Don't worry, Scuzz no going anywhere! Okay. Well, what do you want? It's me. I'm looking for your secret weapon. Shh! Don't tell anybody about that. It's a secret. And it's in pieces. It's a bunch of secret pieces, I guess. Oh, I remember you. You're looking for it. Yeah. Domber. Hey. Do you have one of the pieces? Yes. Ah, the final piece! Go away while I assemble my masterpiece. Return later and it will be ready for you. Let's pick up Scuzz and head back to the entrance to the ferry area. Okay, 
This is where the entrance to the ferry area is located. Uh, it's a portal that we have to have to activate. Um, but I'm gonna end this episode here for now. We managed to complete the feeding ground second level. We freed Vermatrix. Um, we lost Farley and Domber, but we managed to gain Scuzz. So, pretty productive. Also, we found the entrance to the ice caverns, which we'll complete that after we do the fairy place. Fairy something. Fairy kingdom? I don't remember. But, thank you for watching. Have a good day or a good evening, or wherever you are, and see ya.